late afternoon here in Pinole, California, looking at a very nice, absolutely nice 1972 Chevy C10 short bed step side. Nicely done resto mod. It's very smooth, very slick body and paint. Just a few light modifications with a nice modernized powertrain. Uh, we're going to tell you all about it. Go up front here. Very nice factory style grill. You'll notice that the front marker that typically would have been in here on these cars, the side marker, has been smoothed. Go down the side here, the door handles have been shaved. It has remote access with door poppers. On the back, the rear marker has also been removed. The badging on the side of it has been smoothed, so there's nothing. They just smoothed it out a lot, and it's a really nice finish on this truck. You can see the reflections in it, and me standing several feet away. Uh, like I said, it's finished in a hugger orange. It has 17-inch American polished American torque thrust wheels. It has upgraded suspension components, performance suspension components. It has uh, drilled slotted rotors, disc brakes, power disc, power steering. Under the hood here is a uh, ZZ4 Chevy 350 V8 turbo 400 automatic and a, uh, a uh, 307 rear differential in it. Again, updated suspension. We'll cover a lot of that on the undercarriage. I know I try and cram a lot in here. All replated bumpers, looks like a newer grill. Hug orange is a perfect color for this kind of truck. The other thing that I forgot to mention when I was over on the other side, I'll come back around to it, is the fuel, fuel tank has been relocated to the back of the truck, so you didn't see the fuel fill. It typically would be behind the seat. 17 inch front and rear. Nice factory style mirrors. It does have an audio system in it. Look at the gaps in the seams on this truck. It's very nice. The fit is very good on the nose. It's hard to get these right. Door jam to door jam. Very nicely done. The interior has all been redone with reproduction style materials. Uh, these door panels have a nice match to them. They actually match the headliner, so a Cheyenne style interior. Pleated headliner style black. The black and orange is a perfect combination for this truck. Updated audio system. It has Gen 4 air conditioning, power steering. Very nice. Couldn't be better weather. It's about 77 degrees here right now. And just short four or five hours ago, I was in 100 degrees out in uh, Folsom, California. Top to bottom has a cargo light in the back of the cab, so which would have been probably deluxe Cheyenne trim. We'll cover the bed here in just a minute, but I want to step back and kind of give you a look. You're seeing a little bit of light peek through the trees on the truck. We're at the end of the day here, which is perfect. We try and shoot them in the shade when we can so you can see the reflections. Tailgate, Chevrolet, scripting on the back, factory chains. You'll notice that the bed here has been modified slightly. We talked about the markers. These tail lights are probably off a 50s pickup. A typical would have had huge big ones on it. And then uh, the end of the bed here, the caps have been filled. And also the stake pockets, there would be typically three stake pockets on the top of the bed here. They've been filled and smooth. So it's just got a, set, a lot of little subtle things to it to make it very nice. Mild modifications. Definitely, this is definitely a resto mod style truck with a few body mods. Has all all the bedsides. The finish is just like the rest of the truck. It's got stainless steel button head hardware, stainless steel bed strips, oak or hardwood. It's oak color. The fuel fill is right here. I just talked about that a minute ago. Stock style bumper. Nice. Underneath, we'll show you here in just a minute. Like always, we'll take you to the under the hood and and to the underside of the truck. They use button hood hardware on the back here too. I'll get that word out right, button head. Step back, let's take a look at it here where there's not the light coming through the trees. You can see how nice and the reflections on this paint is very nicely done. Good fit and finish overall. Very good looking truck. Step sides are a little hard to find. 
They even filled the forward edge of the bed caps here, which is kind of neat. So they, when they did this, this cab obviously, or the body's, uh, the bed's been off, so the back side of the cab is finished just like the rest of the truck. Up inside here, kind of give you a feel from the driver's side. It has nicely done interior, like I mentioned, the black and the hugger orange. Door jam to door jam. Has a uh, four speaker audio system, it has power windows on it. Has a column shift automatic for the Turbo 400. Has a, uh, I'd say a 90 Chevy steering wheel, probably off a of pickup. All restored dash, bright work. Cheyenne style seat trim or reproduction trim. Headliner from this side is probably a better view than the other side. Sweet, sweet. Visors. Has Gen 4 air conditioning. Power steering, power disc brakes, AC vents in the dash here, both right and left. If I reach down here and turn the key, I probably won't have to touch the gas. Has uh, the full gauge pack in it. Doesn't have the tachometer in the center, but it has the full gauge pack. Oil pressure is about three quarters. Temps are right where it's supposed to be on the low side here, low side of the normal range. Battery's good, and this is a uh, Sony four-speaker audio. There's two speakers behind the seat. When I get out, I'll point them out. Uh, CD audio, and it's got an auxiliary input for uh, an iPod style, style unit or that kind of thing. Speakers behind the seat here matches them. There's so there's Sony, Sony speakers, Sony stereo. Step back and let you hear it run. ZZ4 350, ready to go, 350 horsepower. Hang on to the end of the video, go to spudsgarage.com. Let's take a look underneath the hood, very nicely done. This is a really great looking pickup, obviously. You probably heard me say that already through the walk around. Uh, under the hood here we have a ZZ4 350. The entire powertrain on this truck has less than 2,000 miles on it, which includes the rear end. Um, ZZ4350 has aluminum cylinder heads, roller rockers, it has a boat. They basically come carburetor to oil pan. Uh, I think they're around 350 horsepower. I'll have to double check that. Is that right? Yep. Uh, bow tie. I often have the owner standing by me here. Bow tie intake manifold. It has a billet distributor in it, probably a Pro 1 or something like that in it. They had it curved to meet the RPM band, uh, band better for the ZZ4. Has power steering on it. There's a power steering pump. Has a uh, chrome uh, belt drive system in it. Very nicely done. Probably bills. Uh, it has uh, billet pulleys on it. Has generation 4 or gen 4 air conditioning, vintage air conditioning on it. I'm going to walk around here and kind of give you a peek. Peak. Has a GM cross flow radiator in it. Chrome brackets are nice. The exhaust here is just cool. I like these mid-range shorty tube headers on it. They're uh, ceramic coated. The heater and the air conditioner are both hooked up, so it has heat AC. You see it running in the firewall there. They eliminated the factory box, which is typically pretty big right there. Finish under the hood is just as nice as the outside of the Hugger Orange. Receiver dryer up front here. AC condenser. I like this way of doing the hose rather than the old floppy ones they typically had. They were long hoses. Has a power brake cylinder on it, power brakes, power disc. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea underneath the hood here. Very nice, clean, very clean little pickup. Bottom side of the hood's just like the uh, fender apron, so on and so forth. Hang on to the end of the video, we'll definitely have more right, for you. Let's take a look at the underside here. Very nice, top to bottom. It has all updated suspension in it, so it's got the updated trailing arms in the rear and the panhard bar. I uh, don't have the manufacturer with me, but we'll get that for you here. So it, it's better, geometry is better for a lowered truck and strength and, and uh, factory rear differential has been completely overhauled and rebuilt with 307 ratio. The fuel tank has been relocated over to the tail here in the back of the bed and it fills at the back of the bed. They took it out from behind the cab. You'll see it's nice and tidy, very solid. 
has uh, MagnaFlow mufflers on it, dual exhaust that exits out the back. Cab corners are beautiful. It has QA1 shocks in the front. It also has updated suspension in the front, so tubular control arms. Strong arms, probably, maybe. I'm just thinking of the manufacturer. Very, uh, very nice factory frame and body. We'll show you up in here. Front suspension has an updated stabilizer bar. We'll show you the control arms here. Front suspension, tubular control arms. Nice and tidy, just a nice little hot rod pickup. 72s are getting pretty hard to come by that are nicely done. This is a nice body style restoration. QA1 shocks. Anyway, we're getting about the end of the video. We wanted to tell you to go to spudsgarage.com where we've set all along to find more photos. Give us a call. We're never any pressure. This is a very nice little pickup. Thought I should cover the tire size as American Racing wheels. The rear tires are 255-60 R17, so it has 17s on the back. And the fronts are, uh, well, let's see here, 275-40 ZR17, so 17s and 17s. Go to spudsgarage.com.